Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and New Gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Minnings. And in today's episode, I'm back on with my normal account again now. And I'm going to take the Taurus out today. So I updated to the railing. And in because it's not out yet, they gave me a Taurus. But I traded in my Max for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the Max today to the... Uh, the I'm going to compare the Taurus to the Max today and just go out and do some runs today and see what we can get uh, profit-wise with the Taurus and see see how good it is. It's sort of almost crossing over. It's definitely a medium ship. It's crossing over from the small to medium into the medium uh, towards the, the more larger, but not as, I'd say, sort of mid, mid medium. Medium, small still, but just a little bit more than the others. So the, the Max has 120 and the Taurus has 174. So we're getting about 50 more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that out. I'm going to see how that is. So yeah, you like this video, guys. If you do like this video, don't forget to take the pointer and tickle the like button for us. Don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe notification for more videos and drop it. Also, check out the uh, description for more um, information on the Discord channel we've got going on. Jump over there and jump on with people on the Discord channel. Also, if you want to help the channel out further, you can uh, get a membership. And as the channel grows, you'll get priority comments and shout outs in videos and stuff like that. Well, so yeah, so let's get into this one, guys. So here I am over at Orison. I'm going to get out the Taurus. Medium freight. 20. And I'm going to go and probably look at maybe tr trying to get some Laranite. Because it's a smaller ship, it's not a big one like the Caterpillar and all that thing, all that stuff. Um, it might be easier to get just smaller chunks of cargo 174 yeah, it might be all right so i'm going to be looking at the um site that i normally look at i'll put a link in the description and is it there there it is put my orange and white paint on it that i wanted why has it got an all in it i literally have never ever got the ship out never got the ship out and it's got a hole in it The ship has been battered. I've never even had it out once. So I'm going to be looking at maybe some Laranite. And because of the small stock numbers, I'm hoping um, we can get some. So yeah, so this has been my first time in the Taurus since getting it. I've been doing other videos like mining and, and salvaging and stuff like that. So this is the first time I'm going to be uh, flying the Taurus. That, that's my Taurus. So in the back, we have the secret compartment as well. So we have the, the main section here, missiles and stuff like that there. And then at the back here, you've got your components. And I think more, no, and then this is a secret cargo area here. So anything that's in this cargo area is hidden. So if you do buy vice or anything like that, put it in this, this, this cargo compartment first. So it's a bigger shape, obviously, than the Max. I'm just going to try and see what it's like. It's still a, a crew of four, I think. And I'm just going to just go and see how it is. Is it is it decent at flying and all that stuff? Let me just turn my stuff on that need. Request takeoff. Requesting clearance. Okay, Stand by. Turn ship on. Starting pre-flight protocols. All systems operational. Power shields. System check. Power shields. Maximizing shields. Take off. So I like orange and black. That's my favorite colors, orange and black, but we only had orange and white. Let's let my shields go up before I go out, just so I don't end up blowing up. Please visit again. 
So I'm going to let that go and I'm going to bring up my what I'm looking at. Now this is going to be a gamble because I'm not too sure if I can get it from this place because there is only 500 so it might be um, used, taken out. So let me bring up my display and what I'm doing is I'm at this um, UEX Corp. I've put my Taurus and I've picked uh, Laranite at the top here. So I'm going to go to Art Corp 56 over at um, Art Corp area and then I'm going to bring it back over to Hurston and the profit should be around 103. So that's what I'm going to be looking at today as a run and see what we get from there. So they also do acetine there, aluminium and diamond. So let's have a look if I was to pick diamond and buy that at Art Corp 54, 56 sorry and sell that over at area 18 TDD we'd only get 42,000 from a full load. So not, not good profits there. And then acetine, we just choose acetine. Looks like something else been added there, I don't know what on. Acetine. So we go to acetine and we get that from 56 and we sell that over at area 18. We're gonna get 27,000 for that. Not a lot, that's not a lot. It's like acetine's gone down. So definitely, um, that's what we need to be going for. If I went for Beryl over here at South 5 and Harrison, we're going to get 81. So I'm looking at Laranite, that's what I'm looking at at the moment. Gold, I think, is only the two places still. SCD1. It's where you're 18. That's a lot of money that we would get back from that. But there's no way there's going to be that much there. So let's go back to the Laranite. We're going to go to 56 and then we're going to sell over at Laurel. So let's go over there. So I haven't updated the ship, so it's going to take a little bit of time to get over there, probably. 56, set the room. I read, I saw somewhere earlier that if you see a white chevron like that, it means there was a quantum interdiction event there. So there she is, the big hole in it for some reason, I'm not too sure why. You know, I've never brought this thing out. There she is, orange and white. Nice if we could have named it. There's a big hole in the back there. God knows how that got there. So that means there was a interdiction event happened, apparently. Power thrusters. Maximizing engines. So let's see how this flies in compared to the max. Deploy landing gear. The good thing with this one is it does have. Um,
Beat on. Affirmative. So there's only the one landing pad. It's not too bad. It doesn't keep drifting forward once you um, let go. Oh. Don't want that though, I don't want it landing on its nose. Ten engines up. Powering down systems. So the problem with ramped ships like this is if you land on uneven territory terrain. Uneven terrain, it might be harder for you to get on the um thing. Whereas one with the max, like the ladder on the max, you can just activate it and the animation will take over. Less realistic, but there you go. So let's see what we've got here. I'm looking for getting some Laranite, but it depends if people are doing this run. And what I'm looking at is going to the place where you can get it the cheapest and selling it at the place you're going to get the best price, the, 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 the most price on it. So there's only 25 units here. Taurus. Twenty-five units. And only seventy-four of that, so let's take that anyway. Fifty-eight point two. I'm just gonna wait for the Laranite a bit and see if it just stocks up. While I'm doing that, I'm just gonna loot some boxes. That's worth about 2,700. Press shift, click on the stuff you want. Always take drinks, food. So if I was to get diamond, I don't think I'd get the same amount back on diamond. Let me check. So if we get diamond, we buy that from 56. I'm going to sell that at, I think we're going to sell it, we'll go to Hurston. We're only going to get 42 grand profit from that. That's the time, and 56. I'm going to sell that at Hurston. Sell it at Hurston. We're only getting 27 from that. Diamond. I think I did diamond, did I? Yeah, I think I did diamond. Four to two on that. So it's just the it's just the laminate which is the better one to go for.
Now there is another place I could go and get Lara Knight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just loot around a bit and then this and then come back. So there is another place I can get Lara Knight, which I can try. Um and that's 45, I think it is. Let's have a look. So another 13 laminate. So we had 21% fun. So here we go to mining area 45, see if we can pick up the rest of the laminate here. So there's a star lifter here. down here. Turn engines off. I'm just trying to get in there. Oh, he's got it on the wall. This is green, so nobody's in here. Good. taken here as well. Got diamond, yeah. There we go. So the laminate's just filled up nicely for us. So I'd definitely take all of that. Boom. So now we're full with laminate. So we just had to basically wait. It looks like somebody else was taking it and then they might have been waiting or whatever, but we took it. I'm not gonna loot around here because there's no point. So we've got it from the two best, cheapest supplies. So if I bring that back up here, that I add up. 
We got it from the two best supplies, this Laranite, from 56 and 45. And the difference price between them two is around 70 per unit. And we're going to go and sell it over at Hurston. So they're going to get in the best price at Hurston. You, you just, the more it goes down. So if we wanted to go to where we are at here on that cop, we, you know, we're losing 90. So we're losing about 20 grand from that. So let's head over to Hurston. That's where we're going to head. Not them. So he's gone in that now. So look what's going on in this. And we got it down. So basically that little bit of a wear and it filled back up which is good. And that's the best thing with smaller ships is the you don't have to wait around massive amounts of time. If there isn't any stock, you can just wait around a little bit and see if it does stock up like we did there. You might look out sometimes like we did and it fills up fully, like so you can fill your whole ship. So there's all our stock there and then you've got the secret compartment out back here. It's a bit full as well. There we are, so you can fit six in there. And we're going to head over to Hurston and sell it for the best price. So this is how I was hoping um, cargo running would go, that you're getting better prices for different from, from further distances of selling it. That way you've not got people hogging just one section and uh, taking everything from one section. Someone's radar locked me, so probably scanning me. But we're going to head over to Hurston. I'm just going to set the route over that way. Turn engines on. Starting pre-flight protocols. All systems operational. So if I go past V on there, I can scan him there. He's got 284 Laranite, this dude, in that ship. So he's trying to get a big load. Is that him there? Is he dead? Can I come and rescue him? Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Can I go and get him off? I haven't got a thing on me, but I might be able to get him. He might have something on him that I can take. See if he's got a med pin on him. There we are, med gun, let's take that. Can I even use the med gun here though? That's the thing. I don't think I can 
can use it. And he hasn't got the other things on him. He hasn't got any other things on him that I can use. Any in his bag? No. Nothing I can do for him at this moment in time, apart from take him up into space. Heal him, but that means taking all his guns and that. Which I don't know. Let me take his guns and put them into the local. Just so he doesn't shoot me. Take my ship. And he can keep all the rest of his stuff. Um... Drag his body. She landed on me. I took his guns. Took his guns, so I'm going to take them because he landed on me. Turn engines on. Starting pre flight protocols. All systems operational. Turn engines on. Starting pre flight protocols. All systems operational. landing here. Already open. Landing gear deployed. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Veto. Affirmative.
Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Engines off. Move all my stuff over as well. Move all that over here. You know, I've got some guns and stuff. There's the Taurus. Let's see what we get with this run. So here we are to sell this. So we've got Laranite 174 units. We're going to sell it for half a million. 508,000. Boom. All sold. So let's have a look at how much we made. So we've now got 2,229,000. We started off with... So we made. So that's a quick run with the Taurus. Now, I'm going to do some more small uh, runs around, but it's looking like with the small ships, it's probably better to get Vice. I'm going to do another run and see. Um, I'm not going to film it, but I'm going to do a couple of runs and see what's what might be the best, and then and then do another video. But. It feels like it just might be better off going and getting Vice. Um, but I'll, I'll update it in another video. But I just thought I wanted to try the Taurus out and see what it was like getting Laranite. It wasn't massively difficult, but there was that guy there that had killed himself by accident by falling down the steps. So he might have been at the console at the time taking more, even though the, at the last console it was zero. And then it jumped up to 130 or whatever it was. Um, he was there already picking up. So... He was already on um, with the C2. And that, I think that's the downfall with, with cargo running is people coming along with a C2 like that, what they get, what can get 700 units or, or around that. And it just takes it away from all the other people that, you know, the small runners. There's no point in having small ships, small cargo ships, because you can't do any, you can't really pick anything up that's worth, worth value. So you have to go for the lower stocks and lower stocks. Rather than someone in the C2 going and getting something, you know, like Beryl and where there's 30,000 of it and, and earning a couple hundred thousand that way, they're going and getting the um, things like Laranite. And that, like there, if he goes and gets all that Laranite and he fills his ship up 700 knots, I just made around 100,000 on 100. So he's going to be making close to a million. And he's just taking away from the smaller, the smaller cargo runners, and so I, that everyone else is just going to go and get bigger cargo ships and just do the same. And there's just no point in cargo running. Um, they need to, they need to figure it out. Like you have to travel massive distances, um, you know, maybe from Microtech to Crusader to be able to do it, and then have more stock or have a time limit that when you pick up stock, there's a time limit to fill your ship depending on how much you have so you know so like maybe a five minute wait per hundred or something like that because i'm sure people in smaller ships would wouldn't mind waiting five minutes while the ship stocks up whereas someone in a c2 is going to have to wait seven times that like they're going to have to wait half an hour to fill that up so they could have more stock but there's a time to fill your ship rather than less stock and you have to wait around and then nobody else can get stock so we're all waiting for this stock to fill and then you've got someone in the c2 taking it on uh before you can so definitely something needs to be done about that and i'm hoping in in 20 with these whole e coming in that something something does something does happen whole e or whole c whichever one's coming so that's that i just thought i'd do a quick run with the the taurus and see how much different it was from the max I enjoyed driving it, flying it. I made about 100k on that run. Looked out a little bit, but I think I'm going to have to look at something else, like maybe barrel from from the cheapest to getting it and to the maximum profit. 
and then i'll probably do some vice running and see how we go from there as well so yeah so we hope you like this video guys if you did like this video don't forget to take that punch and tickle the like button don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe notification and um yeah i'm gonna be doing a couple more videos with this taurus it's more of a, a, a ship that people can get hold of, I think, you know, um, up, upgrading from the Mac. So if you've already got something like a Mac, you can upgrade for about $40 or something like that to the, to the Taurus. So, yeah, so we hope you like that one, guys, and uh, we'll see you guys out in the verse.